What's up guys, welcome back to Doki Doki Drawing. I'm Nihongo Gamer, and you know what's fun? Drawing and coloring. But you know what's more fun? Is going to the shops and buying stuff related to drawing and coloring. I mean, of course I'm joking, but one of the reasons that I feel like this happens is because the truth is, it just takes a long time to get good at drawing. But before you get there, you want to buy all that cool stuff that you think is going to make you better at drawing. And whether you're already pretty good at drawing or whether you've never drawn anything at all before, sometimes you just want a set that will include all the tools that you think you're going to need so that you don't have to think about it later. Well, today I'd like to show you something I just picked up at a local art store. It's the Copic Debut Set. Now, you've probably seen these markers in art shops before when you've been browsing around, but you've noticed that they're kind of pricey. So you're like, I don't know which ones to buy. If I only can buy like five markers or I can only buy 10 markers, like which colors should I get and what will I actually be capable of doing with them? Well, Copic knows that you don't know which pens to buy first. And if you buy, like simply buying a set of like, for example, 20 markers, that could set you back like a hundred or $200 maybe. And so for beginners, they've made little sets like these. So this video is not sponsored or anything, but I figured I would go and spend some money and buy this and just show you what's inside in case you're interested in getting into coloring and finding out whether these debut sets with these like selections of colors, whether this is actually enough for you to get started learning on how to use Copic markers. Now this set cost me about $40 here in Japan and it appears to include 10 different colored markers, but you can see it doesn't have that many bold colors. They're all very light pastel-y kind of colors. It also includes a black fine liner, a sepia fine liner, and also it has a mini guide. So let's go ahead and open it up, shall we? It looks like there's a little flap here on the back. We can take this out and on the inside, not only is the packaging on the outside, for the whole set. But on the inside, there's also packaging to keep these markers nice and safe and not rolling around all over the floor. So we've got the main package with the 10 pens and the two multi-liner pens. We've got this Copic mini guide. Oh, we have some blank paper. Oh, this is nice. I think this is going to be important because if you've only ever done pencil and pen sketches, when you get into coloring, especially with these alcohol-based markers, you may find that you want thicker paper so that the paper doesn't just fall apart as it gets wet. And that appears to be everything that's included in the box. So I'm gonna put the paper and the mini guide away to the side here. Let's look at, have a look at these nice pens. If you've ever been to the shops and looked at these Copic markers, you've noticed they come in different sizes. And I believe this is the smaller size. There's three sizes, like a big Copic marker, the medium one, and this is the smallest one. And I think most of the time when you're a beginner and you want the cheapest ones, these are the cheaper of the three types. So let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging, shall we? Open this up and let's look at the first pen we have here. So I think the main things you want to know about these markers are the fact that there are two ends to them. So on the left side, you've got this side that says medium broad. And I guess this is for painting in larger areas when you know you've just coloring in like an entire t-shirt or something. But also on the other side, you've got a, a more fine point. It says this, it's called the super brush. So if we just open up the super brush, you can see it's actually got much finer point. But I think the, also the difference is that this is a slightly softer brush. I don't really want to touch it with my fingers, but I will. It's slightly softer than the edge over here, which feels a little bit closer to like you know, traditional highlighter pen. And the first thing that shocked me the first time I bought one of these Copic pens was I saw the color of this pen and I thought that is much, much pinker. <laughs> it's a much darker shade of pink than the color that's actually shown on the brush cap. I believe that once you've actually brushed this onto the paper, it will dry out and it will be much closer to the color that you see here on the pen cap. Let's have a look at all of the pens that come in this set. This is RV10, pale pink, RV02, Sugared Almond Pink, E00, Cotton Pearl, this is E33, Sand, which I hate, gets everywhere. This is Y00, Barium Yellow, YG23, Animal Crossing, G00, Jade Green, B00, Frost Blue, BV00, Mauve Shadow, Move Shadow, Mauve, and C2. 
Cool Grey number two. And this pen's special because it's got a favorite restaurant, Pizza Hut. And then finally at the end, you've got two of these multi-liners, a black and a sepia. Now for many people, you may have had no need for a multi-liner, but when you start coloring in your work, the, the line art that you draw in pencil starts to fade out by comparison. And so going over your line art with these multi-liners lets the line work continue to pop out. All right, that is it for the 10 pens. This mini guide is included because this is a set aimed at beginners. So a lot of the Copic pen sets that include, you know, like 12 pens or 24 pens or 48 pens, they probably don't have these little guides in them. But because this is squarely aimed at beginners, they're gonna give you some example art that you can actually jump straight into coloring in so that you don't have to be an amazing artist. You can already have some pictures to color in. And who knows, maybe you don't wanna be an illustrator. Maybe you just wanna be a, like a colorist. Take it out of the packaging. All right, so I can't show you every page of this mini guide, but if we just have a quick look, you can see already on the very first few pages, it's showing you the general use of these pens. You use the medium broad side to color in large areas. You can use the soft brush to have a slightly softer edge on it when you're drawing in these details. It also introduces you to some Copic pen concepts like the fact that you can layer the same pen multiple times and you can actually get darker colors without having to buy three separate pens. You can mix two colors together and get a completely different color. So you can already start to see, like if you're not into the idea of getting actual paint brushes and paints out, which can be a little bit messy, these are marker pens, but they can do something that paints, traditional paints can do, which is like mixing of colors. And if you use traditional markers, sometimes they're not designed to blend so well together. Like just, even though they're two light colors, you mix them together and they just end up really, really dark. They also give you some general advice. Step one, draw with a pencil. Step two, go over the pencil with ink, which is included here. We've got these multi-liner pens. Step three, erase the pencil lines because the, obviously the pen won't get erased, only the pencil lines will get erased. And then step four, color in with these gorgeous Copic markers. And it even gives you a little tip if you're trying to decide whether you want to use this black multi-liner or this sepia multi-liner, the black one will give you a very standard look. And the sepia pen will give you a warm and soft impression. Well, I don't know about you, but I am super ready to get these pens out and start coloring, woohoo! Ah, actually, I was so excited, I completely forgot about the third part of this product. So let's have a look inside here because actually it does include a nice blank book for people who already know how to do their own drawings and illustrations. This is the S size book. It's about 15 centimeters by 19 centimeters. So roughly a square shape. And actually this is a Copic branded book. So you know that this paper is designed to work with Copic markers. And on the inside of the book, there are 30 sheets of paper, which means you can draw, I guess, 60 illustrations on here. Plenty of paper included. Nice. Now we can try this out in a moment, but the first thing I want to do is look at this card, which was included with the Copic mini guide. I'll just give you a nice close up look at the tip of the super brush. Let's see if I can have a nice smooth texture on this triangle. Even with only one pass of each color, we've already got a nice light yellowish green color. 